I move on to some targets because this is a 49ers YouTube channel. I do love covering my Niners. So I want, I want to talk about a few players who could be available. Two wide receivers, Sterling Shepard, Alshon Jeffrey. They could both easily be available for the 49ers because, uh, because for Alshon Jeffrey, right now it looks like the Eagles are either going to have to trade a late round pick for him or just straight up cut him. The same thing with Sterling Shepard. So both of these teams are in the same scenario where they need to save money. They're in kind of a bad spot financially. And they need to push this year's the money on this year's salary cap further down the line. This is one of the only mechanisms that they'll have left to do it. Um, I want to bring up some other players as well at other positions. Let's talk about it. Zach Ertz, he's a perfect example. If the if the Eagles were to trade him before June first, the dead money that they would have to take on that year, approximately eight million dollars. They would only save five million dollars in cap space. They just wait until after June first. It's four million dollars of dead money and eight and a half million dollars of salary cap relief. So you can understand, like I said earlier, why so many teams are going to be using this as, as their tool this year. This year is so unique and, and with the pandemic and the effects of it and, and the aftershock that there's going to be so many unforeseen repercussions that the NFL and teams maybe weren't quite anticipating. But now that we know how much the salary cap has decreased by, there's going to be all these players who are going to be let go of their team. Two other players I want to mention, defensive players. They not may, they may not even be on the Niners' radar, but these are two prime examples of players who will be available because of this post-June 1 designation. Daniil Hunter, Landon Collins. For the Vikings, they save $5 million if they trade or cut Daniil Hunter before June 1st. They wait until after June 1st, they save $12 million. So for, for teams, this is a no-brainer. And with this year, especially, 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 this is a no-brainer. I think this this season, this offseason is going to be unlike any other for so many reasons. But to me, this is one of the main things that sticks out because where, where in the past, post-June 1 would only be used with less and less teams because many so because there weren't as many teams pushed up against the salary cap with this year you see all kinds of teams having financial issues. And this is one of the ways you solve those financial issues. So, like I said, Landon Collins, I want to go over him. The cap savings for the Washington football team, if they cut or trade him, would be $3 million if it's before June 1. If it's after June 1, it's $12.5 million. Uh, this, it's huge for teams. It really is. I can't emphasize this.